Alangkah bagusnya jika kita dapat memantau keadaan keselamatan rumah meskipun berada pada jarak yang jauh. Menjadari betapa pentingnya tahap keselamatan rumah dipantau, Gizit minggu ini membawa penonton mengenali dengan lebih dekat sistem automasi bangunan nozzle yang mampu memberi perlindungan optimum pada kediaman anda. Uh, Noxel Building Automation is actually a control unit that it can go in residential, commercials, that you take control of all of your electrical and electromechanical equipment in one platform. It means we unify the platform. To make it easier, when you arrive home, you have a small touch screen, you can use your iPad, you can use your iPhone or any other products that you already own to control the whole environment. It means you have presets, you change the light, you change the blinds to come down, you change the temperature of the room. Everything actually comes in one platform. Penggunaan sistem automasi bangunan nozzle ini tidak terhad, malah boleh dipasang pada semua jenis premis termasuk pangsa puri kecil, bangunan pejabat juga kediaman yang elit. Namun, apalah agaknya faktor yang menyumbang kepada penghasilan dan pengeluaran produk ini? And the idea was all together to control your convenience from one uh, piece of touch screen or phone or anything you have at home to make a full use of it. It means you have a smartphone, you have an iPad or any else uh, stuff at the home that is electronically, you can control them, you can manage it. And that was the reason to bring a unified system to the market that the people have a convenience, same time green tech that you can save energy and help the world. That's something that all of us we want to target. Selain memantau keselamatan kediaman, sistem ini juga berupaya mengawal hampir semua jenis peralatan elektrik yang terdapat dalam rumah kita. Mainly we have our own switching and dimming. It means we take control of switching lights, dimming lights. Second of all, it's a unified platform that everybody in the house can actually use their own phone or use anything that they have as a smart application at home they can use to control it. Other features are the security features. Our alarm systems, all the systems is integrated into one. It means you don't have another keypad in front of the door at the same time having another device. All of it is unified under one platform. Keupayaan sistem automasi bangunan nozzle ini tidak dapat dinafikan. Apatah lagi, ia mampu menghubungkan pengguna dengan balai polis berhampiran sekaligus meningkatkan keselamatan penghuni kediaman. Some of our clients, they have already security system. We connect ourselves to their existing one. But the ones that we install and we integrate, of course, they are connected to police. They have dial-ups to multiple different uh, locations. First, it calls you. If cannot reach you, goes to the police, goes to the fire department. All these things is managed as a background service for us. Persoalannya mungkin timbul, adakah sistem ini boleh beroperasi seperti biasa sekiranya bekalan elektrik terputus? Our system has a full backup by itself, and even the electricity goes off on multiple, even high and low voltage. Everything our system is secured already. And we have a hard memory inside that we can save the settings. It means your electricity goes off after it's back. Everything is as it was before. Apa yang menarik, fungsi kawalan kamera pada sistem automasi bangunan nozzle ini dapat diakses pada bila-bila masa melalui internet dan aplikasi yang terdapat pada telefon bimbit. But the main point is our central unit is capable for recording. A lot of other brands are, but for us the easier is that you can access your CCTV cameras from your iPad or iPhone. It's very easy. It means you go there. Normally now everybody needs to go to a security room to check what is going on or what happened last night. Now it's much easier. Bagi mereka yang bimbang akan tahap keselamatan premis dan mahukan kawalan sistematik yang menyeluruh, ha, sudah pasti sistem otomasi bangunan nozzle ini adalah jawapannya. Ha, saya ni pun dalam kedudukan bahaya sebab diri kat tengah-tengah jalan ni. Jadi apa kata kalau kita uh, tamatkan rancangan kita ni cepat sikit uh, dan uh, kita akan muncul lagi minggu depan dalam FYI kerana ada banyak paparan menarik yang akan kita bawakan untuk anda minggu depan. Okey sehingga itu saya ingatkan anda supaya sentiasa berfikir sebelum kita lakukan sesuatu. Selepas itu kita perlulah yakin untuk melakukannya dan berinisiatiflah untuk memastikan apa yang kita lakukan yang terbaik. Itulah dia hasilnya FYI. Hai, kita jumpa lagi minggu depan. Saya Kifli Bujang. Bye-bye.